Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Frequency. To get this gun, you will need the Bounty of Blood DLC, and the enemy you want to farm is Electricore. So yeah, let's head over and get this gun. Alright, so what you want to do is head to the Obsidian Forest, and we're going to be heading right over here on the map to Electricore. Yeah, I'll head over and I'll meet you guys when I get there. So a little past where we're going, you're going to find a save station right here, so that when you save quit, you're going to spawn there. And that's going to make it a much shorter walk to Electricore. We made it here, and to break the crystals, you can punch the uh, shotgun flower at it, or you can punch it with your fist. To break it with your fist, though, you need to make sure you're far enough in the main story. And yeah, right up here is going to be Electricore. So let's go for one kill together. Freeze you up. First run, we didn't get it, so I will keep farming. Oh, uh, yep, there it is right there. Awesome. So I will go ahead and kill the enemies, and we'll check it out. We have ourselves the Frequency. Damage, not bad. Accuracy handling, okay. Reload time, average. Fire rate, seems fair. And mag size, 12. Red text is, hurts so good. Bonus, weapon charge speed. 1.8 times weapon zoom. And at the bottom, kills increase shots fired for a short time. Also, this gun comes in all the elements too, but it does not come in the non-elemental form. So the gun looks pretty good, I do like it. It's your typical Malawan shape, and it has a red and black finish to it. Um, it's almost like a blood splatter on the gun. Yeah, looks good. Also, I do want to point out this gun can be times 24, but it will consume 2 ammo per shot. So this gun is a Malawan, which means it does have a charge time, and when you shoot it, it's going to shoot a circle of bullets with one in the middle. Now, it is a little bit hard to see, so let's use photo mode. So shoot the shot, and unfreeze. It lands on the wall, and yeah, you can see it right there. So this gun is based on getting kills. So when you get a kill, you get a stack. When you get two kills, you get two stacks. When you get three kills, you get three stacks, all the way up to five stacks. And what the stacks do are give you more shots per burst, and also better reload speed. So you can see here, we're gonna shoot once, we get one shot. We get a kill, kill the car, and now we have two shots. And then we kill another car. And now we have three shots. So after five kills, it will be a six round burst. Now each stack will have a timer, so after exactly 14 seconds, it wears off. All right, we're on Mayhem 10. Here's the modifiers I have. And we're gonna push forward. Go for this guy. Charge it up. And now we have one stack, which means two round burst. And yeah, this thing is really, uh, it's really picking up. <laughs> so basically when using the gun, you're kind of on a timer and you want to keep getting kill after kill. You want to keep your stacks up. And now we're getting a ton of burst here. Oh my goodness. Now I do wish I had a little more mag size. This thing is a lot of fun. Go ahead and down me. I want to see if you keep your stacks and fight for your life too. No. Okay. So when you go to fight for your life, you lose your stacks. So do keep that in mind. Now, for mobbing, this thing is pretty awesome, but I'm a little bit worried about bossing. For example, somebody like Grave Ward means I would have no stacks because I'm getting no kills. I know I just said it, but I do want to see it for myself, so here's Grave Ward. Go for the chest. And, like, that's not bad for a single shot of damage. But yeah, we can't stack kills, which means no crazy fire rate. Oh, there's something new. So, it is limited range, too. Grave Ward is too far away, which means I'm not landing shots. Oh, got him. Cool. Yeah, final thoughts on the frequency. This gun is not bad. Now, when you have no stacks, it is a little bit hard to get started. But once you get those kills going, this thing is a beast. As for the complaints, just like any Malawan, you do have to charge it. And it does have limited range too, because the bullets disappear after a set distance. Overall, I think this gun is a good choice for mobbing. And okay for bossing. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.